guys, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for another session on some Inkaloy today. It would help the channel, but only if you guys actually do like the videos or find them useful, too, drop a like, if you could. If not, maybe you could subscribe, even. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. It would help the channel. Let's jump in. Today, the topic is going to continue with Inkaloy, Inkaloy 825. Inkaloy, like Inconel, is a registered trademark of the Special Metals Corporation. Other producing mills cannot use the name Inkaloy, Inconel, because it's trademarked. So Inconel 600, Inconel 625, Inkaloy 800, Inkaloy 825. You can only use those names if you are special metals. If not, it's Alloy 825 or Alloy 800. Inkaloy 825 and the group of Inkaloys are primarily composed of nickel, chromium, and iron. Initially, Inkaloy 825 was developed for corrosion applications where stainless steels are inadequate and the higher nickel, the much higher nickel content, Inconel or Monel alloys were a little bit too costly of a solution. Alloy 825 contains additions of molybdenum and copper for enhanced corrosion resistance in reducing environments, while the nickel and chromium contents provide resistance to oxidizing it. LA-825 is a fully austenitic, solid solution and cannot be strengthened by heat treatment. However, cold working can increase strength. Applications include all sorts of components in pollution control, chemical and petrochemical processing equipment, and it is suitable for both oxidizing and reducing environments. NACE approved for sour service environments. It also resists chloride and pitting corrosion in seawater. Inkaloy 825 is typically limited to applications less than a thousand degrees Fahrenheit and below where strength is an issue. Exposure to higher temperatures can result in the loss of ductility and impact properties. UNS chemical composition designation is N08825 and today we'll give you the chemical uh, chemistry right here. There it is. We got nickel 38 to 46 percent we got chromium, 19.5% to 23.5%. We got iron, 22%. Min. We got molybdenum, 25 to 3.5%. We got copper, 15 to 3%. We got carbon, 0 0.005 max. We got manganese, 1% max. We got titanium, 0 0.60 to 1.20%. We got aluminum at a 0.2% max. Sulfur, 0.03% max. And... Last but not least, silicon, 0.5% max. There we go. Now the density is 0.294 pounds per cubic inch. Room temperature permeability at 200 Ersted is 1.005 in the annealed condition. Curie temperature lower than minus 320 degrees Fahrenheit, people. Bring your parka. Typical room temperature mechanical properties in the annealed condition. Carry a tensile strength of 100,000 PSI. A yield strength of 47,000 PSI. Elongation, 45% min. Now today, the specifications have no AMS. And so we are just going to give you a little visual representation of what we got today. There they are. Enjoy. Ta-da. Okay. So, pipes, tubes, sheet, plate, bar, forging. We did it all. So, this is the time for me to tell you that specifications often contain additional requirements or restrictions to the chemical composition and added process requirements or testing. And so, we will once again remind you to please check the specs. And so this is video 41, folks. We'll see you next Thursday for video 42. Thanks for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. If you've missed any of the previous videos, check them out. And if you made it this far and haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Thank you for watching. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I'll see you next Thursday, 10 a.m. sharp. Thanks for watching.